Oh yeah guys, we have been waiting for it. iOS 14 is out. Here's the trailer. Oh yeah guys, it's beautiful. And now let's finally talk about what's new in iOS 14. So there are three main new things or features uh, in iOS 14. And first up is the home screen. Apple added the app library. And for those who you don't know what this means, it's basically because of people who are using so many apps that there were many, many pages on your iPhone. Apple decided to combine all these things as in one big library with some sections, with some categories such as suggestions, recently added, and all that sort of stuff. So that people can easily navigate through their iPhones, whether they want to get all those social media apps directly in one suggestion with one tab or some other for example for they want to watch a movie or another entertainment category and all this sort of stuff and they also added a new feature when you had so many pages then you could even delete the page that you not really really need all the day so that you could just simply tick the ones that you wanted to appear or just uh, uncheck those that you don't use and that's how you could customize your home screen pages by hiding the pages that you don't use and showing the pages that you really use so let's come back to the Apple library again. So to find the app that you really want to use, you can just simply tap the search bar and choose the app that you want. And can you see here that there are suggestions and this category is made by the iPhone itself based on what apps you use. And this actually suggests what app you may want to use next. And also there are recently added tab. So like the apps that you have added recently. And by the way, could you see that uh, in all those categories, there are some apps where uh, those are bigger and some app icons are smaller. Why is that? Because if you're gonna tap the smaller app categories, then it will open up all the full category, or like for example, games, and it will just simply show you what games do you have in that category. But if you're gonna tap the bigger ones, like the bigger icons, what it will give you is that it will directly open that app just by a simple top. Now we're done with the home screen and we're getting to the next part, which is widgets. And Apple has completely redesigned widgets with their different styles, different forms, different views. And this is super awesome. And you can find them on your today's view screen with all of their views and you can even manage in which view do you want that widget to be and not only this but you can even drag those widgets to your home screen and by just and only on your home screen tapping plus button will allow you to add different widgets and even choosing which style of widget do you want to add next and now look here's the big one this is the smart stack and if you're gonna add this to your home screen what it does is that you can switch between the widgets directly from your home screen furthermore it can even do this automatically for you during the entire day based on what do you use the most at that time period so 
Isn't that great? I think yes. And we are moving to the third thing, picture in picture. Let's say that you're watching a movie and you remember that you have to do something else. You can just simply swipe up that movie and have it directly on your home screen. You can even move it or pinch to zoom it and even slide it back when you have to concentrate or something else and get it back when you are done with that and even you can just simply top x and close that picture in picture window next thing that is improved is siri and uh, do you remember nowadays when you summon siri the whole entire screen dips with ios 14 it will be just a little thing and uh, it will be really good and even you can ask some things siri and those things will pop up upper is notification you can even ask siri to send a voice message and you will record this message and you will be able to send it apple is even introducing a new app for translations that is even called so the translate that will be uh, that will make you able to speak to this app and it will translate to the selected language and by the way this app also offers you a dictation so that you will speak to it and then it will translate it to you furthermore it also has two-sided view so that the speaker of one language will speak on one side and the other will see the answer on the other. Next up on the list we have messages and yes they have really really improved this. Remember when you have too many conversations you can't even find the one you want. For this Apple has a pinned conversations and the pinned conversations will have the stunning animations. Also, they are adding some more memojis indicating your profession as well as they are adding the mask memoji. Furthermore, they are adding more H options and last but not least, three more memoji stickers which are Brofist, Hog and Hush. Next change is in the iMessages groups. So have you ever heard a situation when uh, there are so many conversations that you can't keep up with them? So for this, Apple introduces the inline replies where you can reply to your person, as well as they have mentions just by typing a name that you can mention person and even get a notification when someone mentions you. Furthermore, they have these icons indicating the icons of the people who typed something most recently as well as you can set the photo as a group picture. Even more changes are coming our way in the Maps app because Apple adds the 3D view to even more countries. Also. Do you remember some things such as icons or their maps? Now we have even guides from a popular places to know what you want to do there. By the way, they even have cycling routes and cycling directions showing you the elevation and other metrics. So yeah, cycles are added to, and cycle paths are added to Apple Maps as well as Lastly, electrovehicle routing. It will show you where you can charge your electrovehicle and it even shows you on which percentage is your electrovehicle and when it will need charge and where will be the closest place to charge your vehicle. CarPlay. So there are new wallpapers on the CarPlay just for your car. And also they are adding some apps for the car. Have you ever lost your key? Now this is not your problem because you will be able to install some application on your iPhone, uh, in your wallet app, and this will be your key. You will be even able to share this key with your friends just by using your face ID. Final item on the list is the App Store and basically an app clips. So there is app for everything, but what if you do not have app for something? 
that's where you need an app clip so this is not really a entire app but basically a part of the app that you need and they don't stay on your home screen unless you download that of course and they don't even take much space you can access app clips from any web other apps and even share it with your friends through the iMessages app and this was all about ios 14. thank you guys for watching and if you think that this information was valuable then please guys click like on this video and subscribe down below and i will see you guys later bye